Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. So I have been using Excel for quite some time, um, particularly to organize budgeting and spreadsheets and having uh, formulas do all the totals for me. And after I was using Excel for a while, I thought, you know what, it would be a really good idea to use that to organize to-dos. So one of my main problems with normal notebooks is that everything just gets lost and cluttered. And yes, you can color code with highlighters and pretty pens and things like that but then you've got it spread over uh, like multiple pages or if you're using Disbound, you'll be rearranging things all the time. You're just flicking back and forth a lot and it can get kind of annoying. So one of the things that I've been trialing is a master task list in Excel. So it's quite simple. As you can see, I've only got four columns. I tried to pull it back to just the essentials. So I've got category, task, status, and priority. So category, all these little letters are a code. So I've just put a little comment in Excel. So if you right click and go, it'll say um, add comment, but because I've already added one, we'll just click edit. So B is for my blog, H is things to do at home, R is just for random stuff, P is for project. So I might be doing like a craft project or something like that. You can obviously put whatever categories that you like. Those are just the ones that I've been using. Um, you might have like F for finances, and then you put in all your things like, you know, pay your phone bill and just organize literally your entire life using a list. So leave that up to you to work out what sort of um, list categories you want to do. I will have this template available for free uh, to download from my blog, which is allaboutplanners.com.au. I'll include the link below this video as well. So then I've got my task. So I try to keep this as short as possible, just really simple. And then I go into status. So you don't have to have this column, but I like to have it just to see where I'm at because I have a lot of things and I'm kind of one of those people that likes to start a lot of things but is really bad about actually finishing them. So it kind of keeps me on track when I see if you know it's work in progress, I've got tons of work in progress, okay I need to actually like finish something. And also with um, follow up. So when I didn't have a follow up um, thing like I used to color code it or put a little asterisk but then it would still kind of get lost. So by putting a comment, waiting reply and the day, then I can easily filter. So I've just put in a couple of examples, but normally this is up to like line 100. You can click the arrow and then type in whatever day of the week it is. Okay, so Monday, this is the stuff that I need to do on Monday. So you could delete status and change that to day that it's due if you wanted to. Status is just what works for me. Now. I've got all to do on here. When I finish a task, I actually just delete it off. So if you want to delete it, come over here to the left, you've got the number, right click, and then just hit delete and it's gone. If you want to see what you've done, if you like you know, crossing things off, um, I know I quite like doing that on paper, well you can do it digitally as well. So if you left click and drag across and then you'll have all those cells highlighted, right click and choose format. And if you go to font, you can do strike through and then hit OK. So now, OK, that task is done. Cross it off the list. And you can obviously delete that out there or just type done or whatever you want to do. Uh, the priority section. So I've got urgent, soon, and then not urgent. So craft project, not really urgent in the scheme of things, but like obviously I still want to do it. Um, so I've got priority three. And then most important is this one. So number one, just logical, you know, ascending um, number. Uh, key system, which I think most people do numbering like that. You could do ABC if you prefer, or you could type, um, you know, like M is most important, um, N is for not urgent, but I think it just gets too confusing, especially when I've got a letter coding system happening over here for category. Anyway, numbers are quick to type, so I find that is a lot easier. So you can again filter things. So I want to see all the stuff that is um, soon, so too soon, as you can see. So it's been working pretty well. Um, I mainly use this to dump everything in at the start of um, the month. And then I'll pick things out and put it in my planner. I do still like using a paper planner because I am on my computer all the time. It can get a bit annoying flicking between, um, you know, like Excel and then other things that I have up on my screen, which again was kind of the problem I was having with paper. I was flicking between too many paper things. So now I sort of have some in Excel, but I've still got paper in front of me. And I find that's been working a lot better than having tons of notebooks where I'm just rifling through pages and pages of jumbled stuff that's not organized well. Uh, I did think about using something like Trello to organize it. However, I have tried that before previously for something like weekly planning and same kind of problem. Um, as most of those online tools, you have to be online to use it. Then I'm already on my computer, so then I'm flicking between tabs again. And I just feel a bit iffy about having all of that important stuff on, I guess, someone else's 
system like if something happened to Trello um, and it just I don't know disappeared or stopped functioning one day like there goes all my lists so I don't really like that um, option uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is color coding so because I already I do normally love color coding but because I've already got this category thing here I have not been color coding um, you can though if you wanted to just left click and drag across and then go to the paint bucket tool I don't really like the colors that come in Excel they're a bit dull so if you go to more colors you can choose from this little swatch thing here and hit OK or you could do a custom color so if you know um, the specific colors that you like to use you can enter in the RGB code and it will change it to that color for you or you can just muck around with the color picker quite like that color and then hit OK so you could color code that way and instead of having this category thing here you could just go filter by color and in that case you could delete out this entire column and then you could just go filter by color that way if you wanted to um, up to you so that's how I've been organizing um, my master task list in Excel I'll again um, have that template ready for download on my blog the link will be below this video in the description box hope you found this quick video helpful um, and don't forget to check out my other plan review videos on my YouTube channel I'll also include the link for that below as well